Hey everyone, Azri here, and welcome back to the final step in porting our weapon into Black Ops 3. So in this part we're going to be going through the bullet weapon and how to port it into a map or how to just uh, compile it so then you can use it in the stock maps. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using the CUDA's weapon file as a base. So to find it, go to the type filter and type in bullet weapon in, as one word and then check the box and you should see SMG standard MP this is the CUDA's weapon file just right click and duplicate it and then name it to whatever you want so I'll call it Ballista MP and you can see it's made it under SMG standard so I'm just going to right click and then go cut and then uh, uncheck the type filter and check the GDT filter and then under the Ballista GDT I'm just going to right click it and then go paste asset and you see it there now so now we just need to go into here and start changing all the values to uh, something for a sniper so for the display name just go ballista and do the same for the in-game name stat name ballista lowercase player item type we set to sniper inventory bullet type bullet class rifle penetration large impact type bullet AP standing for armor piercing and then offhand slot offhand class none fire type single shot clip type bottom and then you can leave all the X cam um, things here and make sure that when you scroll down a bit rifle bullet is checked and then uh, bolt action is also checked under type options and scroll down a bit more and then you'll see all the melee options you can change these if you want but I don't normally change them and down here we need to make sure that um, dual render ADS is checked if you have the ADS scope model I don't have it for the ballista so I'm not going to use this and if we scroll down a bit more we'll see the sprinting um, movement stuff but we won't need that and the ammunition here is the first part we need to focus on so burst count leave it 1 and then ammo name just call it ballista and put the same for the clip name ammo count clip relative check that and then in the clip size I believe it's 7 and then max stock ammo this number here is multiplied by the clip size um, to show you the full ammo that you'll see in game for now I'll just leave most of these blank and just keep scrolling down more and you will see the damage ranges you see all of them here are filled out but if you don't have uh, these values like if you're coming from a previous game what you can do is just go like fill out the first one for the max and then go 3000 and put all of them to zero except for damage 6 minimum and then go 70 and 4000 so then it will just um, look at these two values and then uh, use these instead of worrying about everything in the middle so we scroll down a bit more and then we can see the location damage we just need to change these to something like what a sniper would have so I think these snipers are 4 and 4 for helmet and head and then we'll just scroll down here to the state timers and you'll see that there's a lot of values here that we need to fill in the, what, the way I do this is I open up a weapon file from a previous game and uh, for this tutorial I'll be using the L96 from Black Ops 1 so open it up into the UGX weapon editor and then under models and anims go to the state timers tab and you'll see all these here and I'll just start copying these in so the fire time is the duration of the fire animation and it will be scaled to play at, uh, in that time melee time I don't think we use that uh, in Black Ops 1 but we use it in Black Ops 3 for the actual um, the gun hit animation and then the reload time is obviously the time it, it will take to reload the weapon and then the reload add time is if you can look here uh, it's when the gun will actually increase the ammo on the HUD counter so we just put that in reload add and the reload empty time is the same it just shows how long the reload empty animation will play and then the same for the reload empty add time it's when in the animation the uh, the HUD will show more ammo coming in 
So then these uh, reload quick, the way I do this is I open a calculator and then I just go to the reload time, copy that and I multiply it by 0.8 and then use that as the reload quick time and then do the same for the empty time. Like that. And then reload quick add, we just go to the reload add, multiply that by 0.8, like that. And then the reload start and reload end are only used for weapons with uh, segmented reloads. So we won't be using those for these, for this weapon. And then you can skip all these special combos because if you hover over them, it's when it has a dual magazine reload and we don't have that on this weapon. So then we'll just keep going and copy the, um, the times from the L96 over to this weapon. And then once we get to the charge sprint in, we don't really need to use that. And then the sprint in, I normally go 0 0.3, 0 0.7 and 0 0.3, just so it's not too fast in the sprint loop. And then the, um, the sprint combat time is how fast it will come up from sprinting, so you can start shooting again. That's not going to matter too much for a sniper, but you can tweak that if you want. And then the rest is pretty much okay to leave default. And then uh, here in the sprint movement settings, the move speed scale, well, um, in the tooltip it says that higher is faster, but uh, if you make this less than one, you'll start running faster. So you can tweak how fast you run here by making it lower. And just keep going down until we find the idle settings. Here we can go back to uh, the weapon editor and then look at... Uh, where are we? Yeah, here we are. It's in the movement settings. So we'll just copy these over. So speed is that, ADS is 60. So we'll start copying these in. And then in Black Ops 3 you have this ADS speed, so you want to set that to zero, so then it doesn't wave around a lot, and then you know, mess up your, your shooting. And you can just keep scrolling down a bit more. Here we just use the ADS settings. Uh, and I think that is in here at the top. So then the trans in time is down, where is it, here, let's paste that, and trans out, and reload trans here, and then the zoom out frack is a bit lower down, it's here, bob factor is 0.7, that's correct, view bob multiplier 0.2, and then uh, let's see, here we will have a zoom fog, but then in the Black Ops 3 one it shows the focal length. So you need to convert that, you need to convert the field of view to a focal length by going fog to focal length. And then I'll leave a link to this page in the description. So then you type in uh, around 30 fog and then change it to the focal length, so that's 80. So then we can just go into the asset editor and change all these focal lengths to 80. Save that. And then just keep going down a bit more. Uh, you can tweak these later if you want. But just for the tutorial I'll scroll down to um, the overlay. If you want to use the black scope, I'll leave a link in the description for a download to a scope overlay. But I believe I named it Strobe overlay. Yep, I strobe overlay C. So now I'll just use that for both the shader and low res. Now change the reticle to crosshair. And you want to leave the width and height to 480. And then here in the view gun, you want to set your ballista body view. And then your world gun to the ballista body world. 
and then here you want to find your magazine model so that would be the world model and hide tags I don't believe I need to find to hide any so I'll just get rid of that but if you need to hide any tags you can put them here and here we need to add the scope model so that's the scope view and then to get the offset we need to um, go to our web our model uh, it's body view and then in the preview we need to just check what we're looking at so we go down here and add the scope and then parent tag tag weapon then we need to change the offset so then it's sitting up the top where it should be so we would go let's say three forward or five forward and then up five as well so we go forward a bit more seven that looks all right so then i'll just copy these values seven forward and five up so we'll go here seven and five and then the view model tag i believe we need to put tag weapon here and then i realize that we have this the iron sight still on this model so you need to go to the model and find the name of the uh of the iron sights it's tag sights so we'll just go up and in the high tags we tag sights so then we won't have this clipping of the two strips in game and then we'll do um, if you have an ADS strip you'll put it here and do the same offset and then down for the iron sights um, let's see I don't have iron sights for this weapon so I won't use that I don't have iron sights so I won't use that and then for the clip I will change this to mag view and then we need to do the same thing uh, for the world um, actually no we don't need to do it for the world because we set up the world model properly before and then we need to get the offset again so we go down to the view model go to sub model 2 and go mag view and then parent tag tag weapon and then in the preview we'll see the magazine there so we need to line it up again forward about four or six six looks about correct and um probably a tiny bit up so maybe like two no one and i'll probably leave it at about point two then so then six forward and point two up like that and just press control s to save all that and then down here in the weapon camo just get rid of uh, what's there and then save that and then we get onto the animations here we'll just replace vm ap9 with view model ballista and then you'll see that it's shown the mo animation that we created before so we'll click on that and we can pretty much just copy paste this view model ballista into every other uh, animation field here because we have the same names for each of the animations and then uh, for the reload specials we just get rid of all these because we don't have these and then just keep going replacing them and then for these mantle animations um, I've made another tutorial on how to make these but for now because I haven't made them already I'll just leave these as the cooters but I'll leave a link in the description to the video where you can learn how to make these animations and then for the walk, jump, and fall animations, you can use the Cooters uh, animations because they work pretty well still. And I don't have the slides because they're in the other tutorial as well, nor do I have the wall runs, so I'll leave those for now. And then the rest is pretty much ready to go. I'll just um, press Ctrl S to save that. And then the way we use this in a, uh, a mod 
is we would go to our mod and then right click on MP mod or ZM mod and then go edit zone file and that will open up here and then you just type weapon comma and then the name of your weapon so it was ballista MP save that if you want to use it in a map you would just go to the map uh, ticket and then go uh, open map in radiant and then once radiant has loaded I'm going to just drop it down near this uh, ladder here so we can go to the entity browser if you don't have that just right click on any blank space up here and click entity browser and then you'll be given this window just go to weapon and then your weapon should be here just drag it and drop it onto your map and then you should see it's there now and I'll just move it up a bit so it's not in the floor and then this is what we should see in game so then I press ctrl s to save that close it and then make sure that our zone file has the weapon in it as you can see here it does already so then we just go compile link and then run and build the mod and I'll be back once the mod has compiled and we're in game. And now when we're in game, just go time scale 10 to speed up time. And then over here you'll see we have our new ballista. So I'll just use that. And there you go. You have your new weapon in Black Ops 3. So that's how we get a custom weapon into Black Ops 3. And you can see that it looks pretty nice in the game because I've used the custom textures from that bonus section. But if you haven't done this, it'll still look pretty nice. So that's it for this tutorial. If you've, um, if you have any issues, leave a comment. Otherwise, just give it a like, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.